Good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. I don't know what your time zone is. If you've already gone through the morning, I hope it was just as beautiful for you. I have the best morning. And I'll tell you why. If you're on my site, you see where I have been putting together these short segments of miracles, of praise, of things that have happened and unfolded. And I'm sharing it with you so that you'll be encouraged during your day and whenever you just need to be reminded, because we have to be reminded of what God does. It's hard out there. We have a lot on us, a lot happening. So I thought this segment would make you happy. It certainly is making me happy to do these. And I keep thinking of more and coming back and telling you another story. It's Vicki Lee. I want to tell you about my son. We had moved into a neighborhood on the other coast and he had some kids that were his age and they definitely got to know each other and figure out their socializations as they went. And one day we were in the car and he was telling me all about his buddies and well, Ryan is really smart and Patrick does this and Joey, he does this. And he was telling me all the great attributes that his friends had. And so I looked at him and I said, well, Christopher, what do you do well? I wanted him to assess himself. And he looked at me like, don't you know? And I looked at him waiting for his answer. And he said, mom, I love. And I was moved to tears. He was so right. His whole life, he has loved. He loves. It's the gift he gives to the world. It was the gift that he was giving to his three friends. He had assessed them. He knew what they did well, but he also knew what he did well. What a great attribute to have. When I was 12 years old, I was told three things by the Holy Spirit. The second one was, you will have a son and he will greatly impact your life. And he certainly has. Because when you birth a child and the gift that they give to the world is they love, then you are blessed beyond measure. Love. Is that a gift that we can give to the world? Some people naturally do it. Some of us have to work at it. I'm kind of spunky and I work for the underdog and I advocate and I'll swivel from the hip like an old Wild West gunslinger to get it done. I write books and call things out and encourage and let us know where we are. That's because I love. That's the way God shows it through me. It's through very different forms, but always for the betterment of those around me because I love you. But to have those pure spirits among us that they just love, they will sit quietly and just emanate love. That's what we are given in the body of Christ. Jesus Christ so loved the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, who so loved the world and went to the cross and paid for our sins. That's love. It's grace personified. Love emanates. If you are listening to my voice and you don't have Christ, you're not a believer, come be born into an eternal family. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. My son could say, I love, because he was created by a creator who loves. I hope this helps you. 
during your day, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.